Good day everyone, I am Marie Angelica Bagajong, one of the authors of Car Park Reservation using QR system. In our paper, we propose an improved flow of the current car park system. The current car park system involves car park ticket printed on paper, personal on ticket booth, and no assurance on car park space. The proposed system uses an app for the driver to select preferred car park space, monitor the consumed time, and use e-payment to avoid transactions of money between personnel. The QR code will be the key essential to reserve the car park space. Parking lot is an area where customers can park their cars while visiting public areas. For people who own private vehicles, parking is always a key thing to consider when going to public places like malls, restaurants, theme parks, and hotels. Therefore, it is important for any establishment to allot a parking space that is conductive for their customers, especially the malls where customers stay for a number of hours. Nowadays, all malls have designated parking areas with number depending on the size, the location, and the traffic of customers. In a traditional parking system, customers are unable to determine any information about the car park. Some establishments may provide general information such as the number of available spaces. However, it does not tell you specifically where the open slot is. Parking one's vehicle starts when the driver enters the parking area and hands over a parking ticket. Upon receiving the ticket, the driver will start looking for the preferred slot to park the car. The most common preferred slot is always near the entrance, but for some, they prefer that it is near the exit. Upon exit, the driver either pay or hand over the parking ticket. In some malls, they implement a paper or parking where the fee depends on the number of hours the customer occupied that slot. There are also other malls that have the first four hours parking policy in which the driver will have to pay for the parking fee that's good for a maximum of four hours. Then, will just be charged with additional R fee for the succeeding hours of that day. Introduction After a brief discussion about the topic, I will now introduce the problem statement and the objectives of this study. Most of the consumers nowadays shop online because they find it more convenient than going to shopping malls and encounter difficulties in locating available parking spaces. Once in the parking lot, the driver will drive around and try to look for the nearest available parking slot to the mall entrance. This will be time-consuming and reduce customers' energy even before they shop around the mall. Paper-based tickets are also an issue in the car park system, as it requires tons of paper printing and drivers only use them for a short amount of time. This process contributes to, in, to the environmental issues today because it involves cutting down trees. Mindless use of paper may lead to deforestation. The following are the objectives of this paper. First is to give possible solutions on how to improve the current parking system in malls. Second, to create a wireframe that shows the flow on how to use the online parking reservation application. Third, to enable users to select and reserve their preferred parking slot through accessing it on a mobile application. Lastly, to reduce the use of paper on a paper-based ticketing system in a mall parking. Methodology as the researchers were observing the current system in parking, they needed tools to further analyze the essential elements for proposing an improved system is by using a floor plan, 
and swim lane diagram. The floor plan is a vital instrument for both the management and the consumers to understand the division of parking space for reserve slots in order to have an orderly scheme. Swim lane diagram is an efficient tool to properly analyze the flow of the parking space procedure and to identify who does what in a process. This helps the researchers identify what needs improvement in the current system. Result In this section, I will first show the current system and then the proposed systems. This is the example of the current mall parking floor plan that we made. The figure shows the current car parking system we have. As the driver enters the parking area, the driver needs to stop first at the parking ticket booth to get their parking ticket. Once the driver receives the ticket, the driver can then drive around to find an empty slot where he can park the vehicle at. It will be on a first-come, first-served basis in which the earlier the driver arrives at the mall, the more opportunity he has on choosing which slot he wants to take. Latecomers will have a lesser chance on getting an available parking slot, especially during peak hours. Upon exit, the driver will have to pay on a specific parking fee at the parking ticket booth. Upon surrendering the parking, parking ticket. Now this is the proposed mall parking floor plan example that we made. The figure shows the floor plan of the proposed system. The parking area has a dedicated space for reserved parking to avoid confusion among non-reserved parking. The driver must fill out first the form on the app before entering. Upon entering the vicinity, the driver will scan the QR code in the machine situated at the entrance of the parking. To confirm his reservation, once reservation is confirmed, only then the driver will be allowed to enter the reserved parking area and park the car to the pre-assigned slot. Upon exit, the driver will check on the app the total hours of stay the driver incurred in the reserves parking area. This study assumes that the mall applies the first four hours parking fee policy. If the driver stays exceeding the first four hours, they will pay the additional 10 pesos for every succeeding hours. Finally, before the driver exit the mall parking area, the driver must scan his QR code again to confirm his payment and clear his data on the parking system. This is the comparison of current system and proposed system. On the left is the swim lane diagram for the current system, and on the right, is the swim lane diagram of the proposed system. The following are what we believe should be improved in the current system. The color pink. The current system gives parking ticket which is printed on paper. Removing the paper, we use QR in the proposed system which is embedded on the mobile app that the driver used to fill out the form and pay parking fee. This way, we lessen the manpower by using the QR machine and reduce the use of paper. Color yellow. The cur current system does not give assurance if there is an available slot. In most cases, drivers waste time on waiting for their preferred slot to be vacant. The proposed system shows the available slot to the driver and lets them choose their preferred parking space from the comfort of their mobile phone. This way, 
will lessen the driver's waiting time and utilize the usage of the app. Color orange. The current system uses a parking ticket, where in some cases, the parking ticket gets lost. A lost parking ticket implies inconvenience in both parties, as the driver will be asked to pay for the extra fine in the proposed system since there will be no parking ticket that the driver will be keeping. Additional fees for the excess hours will be paid through an e-payment. This way, we lessen the inconvenience and reduce the use of paper. Color blue. The ticket booth personnel is designed to check the consume time of the driver in his parking space in the current system, whereas in the proposed system, the driver will be able to track his consumed hours as the app shows the duration. This way, we lessen the manpower and utilize the usage of app. Color Purple the current system has personnel for transactions of the car park payment. In the proposed system, we do the payment online. This will provide any physical interaction of money to the personnel and will give a new, smooth, and easy method to the driver. This way, we lessen the manpower, utilize the usage of the app, and avoid money as a potential vector of transmission of bacteria. Conclusion Online parking reservation improves the current parking system in so many ways, since everyone now has access to phones and the internet. Nowadays, a lot of people own or drive cars for the ease of going to places. With this type of system, it helps the customers to reserve the parking space in the mall beforehand. They can pick where, what floor level, and space available they want for that time, which reduces the time and fuel wasted on spotting a good parking space. This system also helps administrators monitor and control and see the number of cars that are in the mall. This system aims to provide convenience, cashless transactions, reduce man-to-man -man interaction, parking congestion, and paper waste. Reserve parking slot system also increases the safety of the parked cars because of the monitoring system. This will reduce the traffic in the parking zones because the customers who already have a parking space do not need to roam around. Payment is made through the app, thus ensures the mall will still gain profit even if the reserve space was not used, which is fair to the administration for they will reserve the slot for 4 hours. Application Interface There are two system interfaces for this app. One is for the customer and another is for the mall monitor. The customer user interface is a phone application that starts up with the terms and conditions. Then after accepting will be a welcome greeting. And as soon as they press to get started, next they will see the time and date of that day. Next, is the form where they will fill out the information needed. Next is where they will pick which parking zone they want. Next is the parking space that they want. After they pick which zone, they can pick which floor they prefer. Green, green indicates that the slot is free. Red means reserved and white means that it's not included in the reserve space. Right after picking the slot, filling out and everything will be a summary and the detail of the details of the parking. 
which includes the parking zone, the floor, the slot number, the time and the date, and the amount. And under indicates that it's only good for 4 hours, so please note that there will be 10 pesos added charge for every hour. And then next is the paying method. In this app, we provided four paying methods, two physical bank and two online banking. These four are the most common banking in the Philippines. Next, after the payment, Will be, you will receive the reservation ticket, which includes the parking zone, the floor number, the spot number, the date and the time, and the QR code below. The QR code will be used upon entering the parking, the reserved parking slot. Next is the mall monitor application, the administrator interface. This starts with the log in for the administrator or the employee after the administrator or employee logged in the monitor's dashboard will be shown next tab will be the mall parking floor plan next is reservation this shows the mall parking area the red ones indicate that it's reserved, the green ones are free space, and the greens are the entrance and exit. Arrows are in, indicate the direction of the traffic. Next tab is the parking space information. This parking space information contains what space, what floor level, the time in, the time out of the car. Red indicates that it's not yet paid or it's extended. The green ones states that it's paid and it's a free space. White means it's still reserved and paid for the first four hours. Next is the customer information. This indicates the name, the plate number, the contact number, the timing and the timeout of that customer. Right after they filled out the form of the serving a slot, it will reflect on this tab. And lastly is the employee log. This will show the timing and the timeout of the employee so that they will know who work on that shift, that time, and day. And that's the end of the presentation. Thank you for listening.